नमस्कार आई एम अखिल श्रीवास्तव एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द वीकली वेदर ब्रीफिंग ऑफ इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट इन दिस वीकली ब्रीफिंग वी विल सी हाउ वॉज द वेदर ड्यूरिंग पास्ट वन वीक एंड वॉट वी एक्सपेक्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ वेदर इन द कमिंग नेक्स्ट टू वीक्स इफ यू सी द मेन इवेंट दट इज द जी ट्वेंटी विच इज बिन होस्टेड बाय इंडिया दिस ईयर सो फॉर दिस पर्पज आई एम डी हैज बिन इशूइंग द डेली वेदर बुलेटिन कवरिंग द वेन्यू लोकेशन ऑफ द जी ट्वेंटी एंड फ्रॉम टूडे थ्री अवरली नौकास बुलेटिन आर ऑल्सो बिन इशूड बाई इंडिया मेट्रोलॉज डिपार्टमेंट फॉर जी ट्वेंटी वेन्यूज विच कैन बी एक्सेस्ड ऑन द आई एम डी वेबसाइट एज वेल एज थ्रू ट्विटर एंड Facebook handles of the IMD. If we see the main weather patterns, uh, features which impacted uh, India during past one week, then we can see that the monsoon trough it was lying most uh, for the first half of the past week towards the northern side of the uh, its normal position that is near to the foothills of the Himalayas, and that uh, led to the uh, sub, uh, subdued rainfall activity over the country. If we see around fifth of uh, this uh, month, that is the fifth of September, a low pressure area formed over Bay of Bengal, and under its influence, the eastern part of the monsoon trough. it started moving towards the southern south side of its normal position and on 6th the monsoon trough was towards the south of its normal position that it was in the active situation if we see the today's situation it is on 7th of september the monsoon trough is active and it is lying to the south of its normal position if you see the other weather uh, features which were impacting india in during past one week and you can see as i already talked about the monsoon trough it was lying till 4th of uh, September towards the foothills of the Himalayas, and on fifth, because of the formation of a low pressure area, its eastern end went towards the southern position. Also on sixth, the monsoon trough it moved towards the south of north position, and this side, as you are uh, seeing the uh, situation of today, the seventh September, the monsoon trough is lying. towards its south of its normal position that is monsoon is on active condition if the other systems then you can see that this the cyclone circulation was formed uh, over northern parts of bay of bengal on first and second and there was a cyclo uh, low pressure area it formed around 5th of uh, september over north of bay of bengal and this cyclone circulation uh, this low pressure area although it stayed for a very uh, sm uh, smaller duration that is it lasted only for one day and then it is lying today as a cyclone circulation as you can see today situation over interior odisha and neighborhood if we see the systems which are uh, considered on the southern side of the country then you can see there is a cyclonic circulation over nik which formed uh, on sec uh, <coughs> on second of september there is a cyclonic circulation over northern parts of tamil nadu on second of september and a cyclonic circulation over comorin area there were also few troughs like you can see there was trough from south india karnataka to comorin area on first of september and also there were two troughs from this low pressure area uh, on fifth from uh, this low pressure area to southeast uttar pradesh and to telangana into different directions Also, if we talk about today's condition, then the monsoon trough, as I told, it's uh, towards the south of its normal position. That means it's an active situation. It's passing through this cyclonic circulation, which is uh, remaining after the uh, weakening of the low pressure area. There's a western disturbance, which is uh, situated on the northern parts of the country. Also, there is a shear zone, roughly along 19 degree north latitude. if we see the main uh, weather activity which was observed so as we see that uh, most of the activity was concentrated towards the eastern parts of the country and towards the uh, southern parts of the country because all the low pressure area and the cyclonic circulation and trough were largely seen in the eastern and the central parts of the country in the spot of that if you see the rainfall activity then we can see there is the enhanced rainfall activity over the eastern parts of the country southern parts of the country however the rainfall activity over northwest parts of the country was relatively on the lesser side If you see the main significant rainfall activity over different parts of the country in different days, then uh, you, these are shown with the different colors. Then you can see these are the rainfall activities uh, wherever in which or sub region in which day of the week some significant rainfall activity of heavy or very heavy rainfall activity uh, has been observed. If we see the rainfall uh, as a whole for the entire week and for the season, that means for the week ending 6th of September, in this map you can see the areas which are shown with the yellow color. They are showing the large deficiency in uh, as compared to the weekly normal rainfall activity. The areas with red color, they are showing the deficient category. Deficient means when the rainfall for that particular week is less than minus 20 to minus 59 percent than the normal for that particular week, and large deficient means from minus 60 to minus. 80% 90% of the rainfall activity if you see from this map then you can see as we have seen the systems also most of the northwest parts of the country they were lying in the large def, uh, large deficient category yellow color then some portion of the central india and eastern parts they were in the deficient category other than that eastern parts of the country and the southern peninsular parts of the country they were they received excess rainfall activity that means excess rainfall is from 20% to 59% more than the normal and large excess is more than 60% than the normal if we talk about the entire season that is from 1st of june to till 6th of september 
then we can see there's a mixed image which you can see in this uh, particular map these red areas which you are saying that is the east uttar pradesh bihar jharkhand gwb they are get they received the deficient amount of rainfall in, in this entire season apart from that western parts of madhya pradesh marathwada madhya maharashtra south india karnataka kerala lakshadweep these all regions also received deficient rainfall activity apart from that if you see rajasthan saurashtra kach himachal pradesh they were all in the excess category and all the green regions they were in the normal category that means they received between minus 19% to plus 19% rainfall as compared to long period average during this uh, tenure this period up to 6th of September if you talk about statistics then you can see uh, for the past week the normal rainfall is actually uh, 47.7 mm however received rainfall was only 29 mm there was a deficit or departure of minus 39% if you talk about the all in, uh, for the entire season the normal rainfall till now uh, is expected around 741.6 mm and in respect of that 657.6 mm rainfall was received which was minus 11% and falling in the normal category for the entire country if we see the uh, talk about the forecast part then uh, as you know that the monsoon trough is at present towards the southern side of its normal position and it is likely that during the first half of the week it will uh, continue to be in the southern side and then its western end is likely to shift gradually towards the foothills of the himalayas towards the second half of the week a cyclone circulation is also present over central parts of interior odisha and adjacent chhattisgarh which is extending up to middle troposphere levels as we've already seen this is the same uh, cyclone circulation which is remaining after the uh, weakening of the low pressure area if we talk about the forecast for next two weeks, this is the images which are taken from the uh, extended range forecast system of the Indian Meteorology Department. So this uh, right hand side uh, image which you are seeing, it is showing the rainfall activity over the entire week and this image particular image, it is showing the departure or the, what is the difference between the uh, rainfall activity. So this blue color, they are showing the regions where in this uh, current uh, coming week, the rainfall is expected to be above normal and this red, orange, yellow colors are showing the areas where deficient rainfall or the rainfall uh, likely to be below normal. So if you will see mostly the central parts of the country adjoining eastern parts of the country they are likely to receive above normal rainfall activity during the week however the southern parts and in north western parts the rainfall is likely to be uh, less than the normal what is expected during this week. If you talk about the overall then overall monsoon rainfall is likely to be near normal over India as a whole however many parts of northwest India and south of northwest India during the week may expect uh, less than normal rainfall activity. If we see the heavy rainfall warning during the next five days, so you can see in the eastern parts, if you talk about northeastern parts of the country, then for the next three days, uh, for, uh, for next uh, three to five days, uh, the heavy rainfall warning has been issued. However, for the central India, if you talk about, then in Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, uh, Gujarat, adjoining this Madhya Maharashtra, Konkan, Goa, for day one and day two, isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall warning has been issued. That means orange color warning has been issued. Also for the day 3, heavy rainfall warning has been issued. If you talk about the northern parts of the country, then uh, for day 4, you can see in Uttar Pradesh, we have got, uh, uh, till day 4, we have got heavy rainfall warning, isolated heavy rainfall warning over Uttar Pradesh. However, from day 5, uh, rainfall activity is likely to be uh, reduced and we are not issuing any rainfall, uh, heavy rainfall warning for the uh, northwest parts of the country. For the southern parts of the country, uh, the heavy rainfall warning is uh, issued for the Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala uh, during next 5 days. Uh, so so we are expected isolated heavy rainfall activity may occur over these regions during the next five days and adequate precautions have to be taken for respect to these warnings if you talk about the week two that means from 14th september to 20th of september then the monsoon trough is likely to be near uh, to or uh, south of its normal position during the second week that is between 14th september 20th september and we're like uh, expecting light to moderate to fairly widespread to widespread rainfall activity with isolated heavy to very heavy falls over most parts of central east and northeast india during the week as you can see from this uh, erf map that extended rain forecast system map also the rainfall activity is likely over different parts of the country and if we talk in terms of the uh, anomaly that is uh, different from the normals then you can say in the central parts of the country eastern and adjoining eastern northeastern parts of the country the rainfall is likely to be above normal wherever in the southern parts of the south central part of the country the rainfall um, in some uh, locations it may be less than the normal rainfall activity in general is likely to be above normal over east and northeast india normal to above normal over central india and near normal over many parts of northwest and south central india during the week 
overall near normal rainfall activity is likely over the country as a whole during the next two weeks. If we talk about the cyclogenesis, uh, then uh, a cyclone circulation is likely to form over North Bay of Bengal and adjoining East India in the beginning of week two. However, uh, there is no probability of cyclogenesis over the region. That means we are not expecting any formation of depression or above intensity system over the North Indian Ocean during the next two weeks. These are the main information from our side. We will again meet uh, with the similar kind of information next week. Till then, if you need any updated information, please visit our uh, different apps, Mausam app, Damni app, Meghdoot app or you can follow IMD on Twitter and Facebook handle. Till then, have a wonderful time. Namaskar Jai Hind.